National Medical Supplies Fund, NMSF, Central Medical Stores were established in 1935 as a department in Sudan Medical Services. It has been transferred to the current location in 1954 as a department in the Ministry of Health and the renewed name, the Central Medical Supplies, in 1991. It became a peristatal organization under its Act 1991. It was subsequently renamed the Central Medical Supplies, proving the law of National Medical Supplies Fund in 2015, changed the legal status and the name of CMS to NMSF. NMSF is managed by a qualified board of directors carried by the Federal Minister of Health and concerned with establishing strategic visions based on thoughtful scientific planning. The Director General of Fund is assisted by four general and seven specialized directorates in addition to more than 400 competent professional employees. NMSF is responsible for all activities related to medical supply system for all governmental health facilities in Sudan. It also responsible for the storage and distribution of health commodities donated by Global Fund for Treatment, HIV, AIDS, TB, and malaria. It worth mentioning that availability of medicines had increased in recent years to above 90%. The rate of registered medicines increased to 97%, which reflected on the quality of NMSF medicines, especially after the reduction in the rate of medicines rejected for quality-related reasons. To less than one percent. An MSF work methodology is developed by applying of Enterprise Resources Planning System (ERP), which contributed in establishing an exclusive database of all operations, connected the network in a center with its branches in the states. Stock management of health committees facilitates retrieving of information and subsequently preparation of proper and accurate reports. NMSF became a pioneer in Sudan and Africa in applying several electronic systems such as barcode system, electronic procurement system which allows suppliers to submit their pit to the funds tenders online, online supply system, and electronic payment system. NMSF introduced the service of provision of unavailable medicines through receiving inquiries on the hot telephone line 5959. If medicines are not available in Sudan, NMSF provide them from abroad with cost price only. The distribution of medicines, NMSF succeed in establishing a good transportation system in accordance with the standards of World Health Organization through contracting with companies specialized in transportation of health commodities from Port Sudan to the central warehouses and to the state's warehouses. NMSF has well-equipped warehouses prepared for normal and cold historic conditions. Present storage capacity will be maximized by increasing vertical storage capacity through establishment of a new warehouse in accordance with international storage specifications. It succeeded in updating the storage environment by installing a system for follow-up adjustment and monitoring of the decrease of temperature and humidity in all warehouses from one screen inside the central control room. Based on its recognition of the principle health is for all, enemies have established branches in 16 states and invested about $34 million. It provides the capital seed stock of medicines as revolving fund for the states. It also provides logistic support to the states, represented by construction of warehouses, donating vehicles for supervision, and temperature control track for delivery of medicines. To health facility in the state. The branches are considered the safety valve that ensures the availability of safe and effective medicines for the citizens close to the residents with one unified price in all parts of the country. NMSF provides continuous professional training and career development for that it established Abdul Hamid Ibrahim Training Center concerned with development and human resources and building of scientific professional and technical capabilities of the employees in the national chain of medical supply, designed to contain a computer lab, library with hard and electronic learning sources, four training halls, conference hall, meeting hall for the National Board for Coordination of Health Services, which carried by His Excellence, the President of the Republic of Sudan. The center will accommodate the continuous pharmacy development program. With the steady paces, NMSF proceeds towards its objects 
to achieve the highest rates of excellence after accomplishing great achievements in all aspects during short period of time. Such accelerated paces predicts that NMSF will have a bright future filled with a lot of achievements which will put Sudan in the forefront of its counterpart states in a region considering the field of medical supply.